again um temperature is uh 156 it's been staying around that at is 86 156 ect so you pretty much stay in there so we're good um we got uh afr is about 14 5 14 7 14 8 so that's perfect at idle right here we're at 11 50 so that's what it's set up at see if we can go to parameters right here you can see that that's what we have it set up as far as idle. I know, just like last time, people wanted a race, and we ended up beating a V6. Yeah. So we're at 164 right now. So we're doing good on temp. That's perfect. So 12 13 air flow ratio when Corey pressing on the gas. So we're good there. We're about 14. So it can be adjusted a little bit, but I think we're good. I think we're good on air fuel ratio. Does it look like it's using a lot of gas? Oh my god. Okay. I haven't really, I haven't really got on yet. All right, so we're driving a little bit. Right now, IAT is about 115. ECT is at 159. So 161, 160, 159. So that is perfect. I like the Mishimoto radiator. And when we did that fan on here, it's running so much better. AFR is looking good. TPS is activating right away, so we're good there. Ignition, um, I don't really know. I mean, it's advanced, so we're driving. So we'll have to see what it is when we stop. But we try not to bounce around a lot. So we're good. We're just driving normal drive right now just to see how we're doing. And uh, yep, so we're good. So we're gonna come up here on this road and then we'll uh we'll do some pulls and then we'll do some tuning and see where we're at on the AFR land the table. So we just got back from our run. We did a couple data logs. You can see, um, you can see right here. This is when we first started out. Okay, we're doing about 40 miles an hour. Okay, so when we get over to here, okay, right down here, you can see that. Um, actually, it's up here. The ignition is blue. Duty cycle and the your uh, injectors are red. Okay. So right over here, you can see right here. So we'll go along this edge right here. So we're doing 51 miles an hour, okay? TPS is at 97, so he's at almost full throttle, okay? So when you come over to here, keep going over, 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 over right about here, okay? You can see our injectors right there, 7.21, okay? So right over here, I lost inject in the injectors right over here. As we're going down this right here and right there, it says duty cycle zero, zero percent, ignition negative four, and injectors zero. Okay, we're still doing 55 miles an hour. Okay, TPS says zero. So we lost TPS right there in that little area at 55 miles an hour at uh, 4770 uh, RPMs, okay? So I'm thinking that by looking at this, I mean we lost we lost it for uh, we lost it for a little while here. We lost TPS and the injectors and everything. TPS, see it's a zero. Zero, zero, negative four, okay, right? Here, we're still zero, 
right there, we started picking up ignition again, okay? Our air fuel is 21.33, okay? So right in this area right here, you can see the red ignition and the injectors went down to nothing, okay? Blue, we started gaining up ignition timing and then it went down, went back up, and then right here, this is pretty much it. So if you watch the graph, let's watch it real quick. So we can go up here to data log, okay? And we can go to play, okay, watch it. Right over in this area, okay, watch. Right there, boom, nothing. That was our little data log that we did, okay? So let's go out to the car and I'll show you, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so um, we took out the regular injectors and we put 410cc, RDX 410cc injectors in here, okay? So when you run 40 PSI on the RDX 410cc injectors, it, it goes at 750 cc's, okay? So when you go down to 38, they run 410 cc's, okay? When we're driving, I can tell when I look at the Honda, I can tell that we lost injectors. Like he's still going on the gas. You can see the TPS, but we lost injectors. Number three cylinder. So number three cylinder, last time we pulled the spark plugs, that one was almost fouled out. All the other ones were good, okay? We bought these RDX 410cc injectors on eBay for like 40 bucks, okay? So I'm thinking that they're not the right spray pattern or they're just cutting out and doing whatever because you can set your dead times to whatever on the Honda to, you know, dead times to cut out every time, you know, ignition, the cylinder fires, you don't want it to fire, you know, fuel. You don't want fuel spraying in there, okay? So that's your dead times for your ignition and you gotta have it set up right. But I bet you if I took these injectors off, and I took them up to um, a place that would uh, test them for me. I bet you they wouldn't be the right spray pattern. I bet you like number one would be up here. Number three would be way up here. Number two would be like here. And then number four would be there. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. Because your, your number one cylinder is over here. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking. So we ordered some 410cc injectors. The real ones. They were like 300 and something dollars from PRL Motorsports. Okay. So we're going to see what the difference is from the eBay ones. Because they do say Denso on it. But you never know. They could have put Denso on it for 40 bucks. So please, please, please do not buy eBay injectors for like 40 bucks. They might get you by. But when you're doing Honda and you're doing, you know, tuning and you're doing all that kind of stuff. Do not spend money on those injectors just wait till you have the right amount of money or save up for them or whatever you need to do to save yourself some time because you know what i have to take this whole strut bar off here okay i have to undo the lines that i just got working right i gotta take off the fuel rail and all the injectors and pull that all up and then replace them we got the top hats right here so these top hats we got for the 410cc injectors here. There's one, two, three, four. I mean, they look nice. They are blue. The ones that we're getting are blue from PRL Motorsports. So that will be the next video. We'll be doing a data log with. So then we'll compare the data log from the one. And then we'll compare the data log from the one, the PRL ones. And we'll, we're going to see a difference. And I bet you we will. I bet you there won't be no times where the data log just goes like this and then all of a sudden it just drops and we just nothing. So we have the TPS in here. It might need to be adjusted a little bit as you can see that I do have it all the way this way. But on the on the actual Honda data where we have it set up, I'll, we'll go back inside and I'll show you where, where we have this set up at. And um, But that's brand new. Map sensor's brand new. Um, everything's brand new. Okay, even the I, IECV back here, that's brand new also. Got the Mishimoto radiator in. That is working so much better. Like our our top um, temperature the other day, we drove it for about two hours. 
And our top temperature was probably like 172, 175. And it was 80 degrees outside. 75, 80 degrees outside. You know, we were we were getting we were getting on it and having fun driving. So I like the Mishimoto radiator. I like the 155 thermostat. I like that. I like the fan. It's perfect. I like how this is set up like this. So with the Hayden fan that we got set up, we actually got some air. So you can actually get some air through there. And it is working flawless. I love it. I love it. So I would definitely recommend a Mishimoto radiator and a thermostat and the Hayden uh, fan. If you want to get a bigger fan, you can. Like you still got... You still got enough space between here. Look at how much space is between here. When I put my finger down, you can see how much space is between there. So you could go with a bigger fan. And then Mishimoto has one that will uh, that will bolt up. That will have your fan here and then your fan here. So you can have one push and you can have one pull. Now, next video, we'll be doing the the 410cc injectors from PRL, PRL Motorsports. And uh, we'll get these in and then we'll see how much better the car is running. Next video... We're going to be doing the 410cc injectors from PRL Motorsports. And we're going to see the difference between eBay junk, $40, or the $300 ones that we bought from them. And then we'll uh we'll set up the we'll set up the fuel pressure to 38. We'll make sure that it's right. We'll set it all up. We'll do it by here by the fuel pressure regulator. And then we'll see. We'll see where we're at. So we went for a drive in the Integra. We got everything good. The coolant's good. Timing, uh, the temperature's good. Everything's good. But now we're figuring out that eBay injectors, they suck. Don't buy them, okay? They're only $40. And now I'm finding out why not spend $40 when the new ones, see the other companies are selling them for $300, like Purell Motorsports and other companies out there. So we got a set coming. They should be here tomorrow. So we get that put in. So I hope you liked the video. Hope you liked how we went over the data log, show you the injectors and all that to show you the difference between the AFR and the fuel injectors times and the maps, map pressure and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for the next video. So if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at JC Moto Garage. So if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll be gladly to uh, help you out and uh, do some research for you or whatever you need. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on JC Motor Garage. Mm -hmm.